Hey everybody, today my floating head and I want to talk about gripping the bar during deadlifts. And I, I know I'm zoomed in, but I feel like if we zoom out, we're not gonna be able to see all the details that we want. So I'm just gonna hold up a, a small, large hand really close to this, <laughs> this camera here. Um, I, ideas with gripping. So generally, the, the grip that most people are just gonna take automatically is called a double overhand grip. So I take both hands and there's a bar here and I curl my fingers around it and then I wrap my thumb on top. That is a good uh, general grip and that's the one that I would prefer overall. Uh, and I like to warm up that way as much as I can. But what you'll notice is that if both hands are oriented this way, the bar starts to roll and it opens the fingers. So as the, as the bar rolls, it makes the lever longer on the fingers and as they get tired, it just it's a positive feedback mechanism that just keeps going until it's done, <laughs> until you drop the bar. Um, you didn't need to know it was a positive feedback mechanism, but that's what it is, in case you're wondering. So uh, the, this double overhand grip is really nice if you, if you can hang on to it, right? If, if the, uh, the stress isn't too hard, if the set isn't too long, if the weight isn't too heavy. Um, next kind of grip that we're going to talk about, the mixed grip. So instead of having double overhand, you have one under, one over. And so as I hold the bar here, it doesn't roll out of both hands. As one hand gets tired, it rolls into the other hand, okay? And the other hand can catch it and prevent this rolling, prevent this uh, excessive uh, positive feedback. <laughs> Good thing we talked about it, right? So um, this one, drawbacks are, it, it does turn you a little bit. You'll, you'll notice if you, if you take both hands and you turn one as far as you can, your body starts to turn that way. And so even if you don't turn as far as you can, you still get a little bit of this tendency because you start to build tension as you rotate and your body's naturally gonna push itself away from the tension. Um, so, so you have to think about that. If you're worried about um, overstressing one side in particular, then one, don't watch any of my videos because you're gonna learn that you, there's not really that much you can do about that. Uh, but two, you can alternate sides if you want, but if you're looking for max weight, the way is you, you maybe you alternate sometimes in training, but you have one grip that is better than the other one and you're gonna stick with that one for your, your maximal lifts, for your sets that you're trying to push yourself because generally grip isn't gonna be the limiting factor. It's gonna be leg drive. It's gonna be keeping everything. It's gonna be that total nervous system drive. Okay, so we talked about double overhand, we talked about the mixed grip, and now let's talk about a, another variation, <coughs> had a little frog there, of the double overhand, but this time, instead of the thumbs wrapping on top, the thumbs wrap inside the fingers. And so you have this bar here, and the thumb goes first, and then the fingers clamp it. And so what we do here is we create a little clamp. I turned my hand the wrong way. I don't know if you're ever gonna be able to see this. Do it with me, right? If thumb first, fingers follow. Hold on to that thumb. <laughs> specifically the nail, especially if your hands are about my size. And this works kind of like wrist wraps where it just ties you to the bar. Uh, <laughs> I gotta tell you, it's pretty painful. Some people, some really strong people are gonna do it that way. And the, the, the major drawback is that it hurts like hell. But the major benefit here is now I'm not getting the, the twisting of the mixed grip that we talked about. Now I just have this nice double overhand symmetrical position. It allows me to recruit both my legs evenly and I, can, I don't have to worry about my grip so much. Again, it hurts. It feels like you're ripping your thumbnail off. Uh, start low. <laughs> you gotta build up some tolerance. Uh, I'm, I, you're, you'll probably be okay, <laughs> but if anything hurts really, really bad, or if your thumbnail looks like it's falling off, stop doing it. Um, that is, that is though a, an effective grip to, to take on. And so these are the major grips that we have. We, you know, we'll also have wrist wraps. Uh, I believe I already made a video about that last week, uh, when I was filming. 
the same kind of idea, right? It allows me to do the double overhand, but then it ties me to the bar. And so this way, this is a, a slightly wimpier way where I don't have to rip my thumbnail off. You don't have to be quite as sick in the head to do this, but uh, it'll tie you to the bar. It takes the grip out of the equation. It allows you to keep developing that upper back, keep developing that lower body, and uh, keep pushing that part of your deadlift, that section of your deadlift, that piece up. Right. So those are the grips, the overhand, double overhand. You got the mixed grip. You've got the uh, hook grip. And then you could, you could hold the bar with straps, wrist wraps. Um, wrist straps. Wrist wraps are like the things that prevent your wrist from bending. Wrist straps tie around the bar, just to be totally clear. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below.